Here we are. The infamous One and Glenn back in frickin' action. Not for too long now. I want to do a quick, uh, not really a setup or anything like that since it's pretty dang straightforward. But most houses in the Midwest have basements. We also have sump pumps. When it rains, water goes to the sump pump. Anything that doesn't flow away from the home, water goes you know, to our foundation, goes down and trickles into sump pumps. That has to be then ejected out to the city sewers uh, where rainwater goes. Anyways, a lot of people have flooding. That is one of my freaking biggest fears. I do not want this basement to flood. Brand new house, kind of like a dog uh, place right now, really where we're setting it up. Uh, we bought all this stuff literally for the dog. Um, but anyways, I want to do a quick, uh, just kind of talk through of what I purchased for my sump pumps and why I purchased them. So the builder of this home put in two sump pump wells. So I got my primary well here, secondary well here. I have a sump pump in this well. I also have a sump pump in this well. If the first pump goes out, the water fills up that well, goes over through a chute down to the other well, starts to fill up the second sump pump takes over. The problem is if we have a full power outage, that's where the issue comes in. So a lot of people buy battery backups. Um, one, if the power, the power goes out, the battery backup will just take over. But two, if their pump, 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 sump fails, sump pump fails, they will also have an extra sump pump in there with a battery that will then take over if it gets too high. And the first one's not ejecting. Because I have two sump pumps and two wells, I'm pretty confident that one is always going to, you know, stay working. My, we just moved in a year ago. My plan is to, every five years, whether these suckers work or not, I will be getting two brand new sump pumps for the next five years. One thing I do not want to happen is have, a flood, uh, have my basement flood. That's like my biggest fear. So, the direction I went with our sump pumps is I actually bought a sump pump. Well, actually, it's a battery from it's uh, called the Basement Watchdog. And it is a maintenance-free AGM battery. You know, whatever. It's like a big old battery. And then I had purchased... Um, what is this thing called? What is this thing? It, like, converts the battery power to 110 volts. And if the power goes out, it will detect it in the machine and automatically start running up on my battery, on the battery. The cool thing with this is I can use my regular sump pumps. I could use any sump pump. So as long as my sump pumps are good, they will run off it. A lot of these companies will sell you a battery backup with a pump built into it. I don't want that. I want to run my own sump pumps with what I have and not put anything new in it. Let me show you what I got. So it's called the Raybend Primary Sump Pump Backup Power System, model RAI 1500. And I have the Basement Watchdog battery. The converter, the power converter from battery, which is 12 volt into 110 volt, all is controlled here. This device also comes with my cables, comes with everything. It has uh, indicator lights on the back. The gr this first green means the battery is fully charged. The second green means the system is good. The system works, the batteries are gonna work, everything is gonna work as long as the second one is on. What I have done today is I unplugged my primary sump just for the day. We did have some rain over the last couple days. And I, so this first pump should be, this first well should be full of water. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to unplug the, well, what I'll do is I'll just turn the power off on it. I'll turn the power off on it, on the main uh, system here. I'll unplug it from the wall so there's no power going to it right now whatsoever. I'm gonna plug in the sump pump. 
I'm going to turn the system on and that sucker better run because it's full of water right now. And it's going to be un under no power at the outlet. It's going to be under 100% power of the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off, turn this off. All batteries are off. There should be no power in here. I'm going to unplug this from the wall. So that's completely unplugged. Here is my sump pump that I'm going to plug into here. There should It should not run right now because all power is off. Okay, so this well is definitely full because it has not been running all day. There's no power to it whatsoever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn just the power on. Let's see. Okay, so there's no power because it's not plugged in. But when I press this one to activate my outlets so this one's going to turn on my outlets basically when i turn this on that other pump should start running let's see what happens you'll be able to hear it i'm not going to talk boom you hear that ejection cleared so now what i'll do is i'll plug this thing back into power Plug this back into power. Fans come on since it just ran. Got a fan in here to keep it cool. We got our charging light right there and we have our status indicator light which is green which means we are good to go on the battery and it is perfect. So what that shows is with this setup the 12 volt to 110 watt converter or volt converter I can plug any sump pump your working sump pump into there you can plug up to two of them because it's got two plugs on it so I can plug both sumps into that one device and if we lose power this battery will give me plenty of charge they say it's up to like four hours of charge but it will give me plenty of time to run upstairs we bought a generator too grab the generator get that sucker fired up and warmed up get extension cords down here and have it running under normal power versus battery again one thing i do not want to do is flood this basement and i hear a lot of stories about basements flooding and that is like my biggest fear i do not want that to happen all right so just that couple seconds my battery light came back on it's green which means this sucker is charged and full of energy uh full of power and ready to go. I did buy this card from Amazon. I was going to mount to the wall and I decided I don't want to mount to the wall. I have all this insulation here. Better just get a little cart, straddle it between the two sump pumps and let it roll. But anyways, that's what it is right here. This is the ray Bend primary sump pump backup power supply. So it is made for this. And I went with the basement watchdog battery. So it says one year free replacement. It says your battery's good up to, I don't know, four or five years. My plan is every five years, I will replace both sump pumps, whether they're working or not, just so I make sure that in five years I have uh, fresh ones in there. They Some people, they go way longer than that, but I just feel like, sump pump's going now so it's working um i just don't want this thing to flood so i don't i don't care i'll put the little bit extra money aside i'll get two fresh pumps every five years the battery will change out maybe every four years kind of expensive on this setup actually um i will put what i'll do is i'll post the links actually below in the comments for both of these things i got them both off amazon they again they were uh it was kind of expensive but i feel like Putting in just a little bit of money into something like this and not having your basement flood is is well worth it in my opinion. So for whatever that's worth, that's not really worth much anyways, but here we go. Ray Bend, battery backup power and the power. Cables came with it. And then I bought this little tower on its own. All right, YouTube.
that's it. One England back with a quick little home. I don't know what you call this thing. Home, uh, home improvement, I guess. Super easy. You just got to pay a little money and, and put it together. All right. Peace, YouTubers.